Here's why I think UFL football could potentially compete with FIFA and PES. A new football game which has recently dropped a trailer and a website and has been in the works since 2016. And yes, as of today, we're just going to be going through all the notes they've released, the trailer, and then why I think it has massive potential, unlike some other people. Hello lads, hope you're having a lovely day. Welcome back to today's video on the channel. I mean, it's not even FIFA related. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about Strikers Inc., um, also known as UFL, which is, um, yeah, like the game engineer, I guess. I'm not sure if it's actually called UFL or if it's just called Strikers Inc. Um, but yes, today anyway, we're going to be taking a look through a very hyped up game which dropped last night, which has even been retweeted by like EA Game Changers. Mate, EA just slapping them in the asses this morning. Like you're getting sacked in the morning, Bateson. Anyway, today, uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a look through some of the licensing, some of the graphics as well, which have been posted in the trailer. And yeah, just giving my opinion on, I, I honestly think like the first thing which kicked to my head was it is free to play, which I should like say that first. It's free to play. Like that has such a massive impact. Especially on today's like gamer market like if a game is free to make it like a trendy game now Mate, everything just has to be free to play in cross gem. All I know is that that's like a very like legitimate gaming engine. So yeah, like it's the big boys There's no Poundland version Stadium seats um Oh, no. yeah, mate, that's a Nike sponsor. That is a Nike sponsor, do not tell me otherwise. The fact that they've even got this, like, license and then they're allowed to use a sponsor. Pretty mad, to be fair. Um, And, yeah, again, you'll see what you've got in a minute. I don't know, you know, it's pretty mad. Yeah, and Puma again, look, I mean, here you go, look. The Olympic Stadium right there with, like, the UFL banners. So, it's fully sponsored. It's fully, like, in the game. Like, any Premier League team, really, like, West Ham is, like, historically a massive club to have. Like, that is a flex there, like, for any new upcoming, like, inspired, like, gaming company. Companies will want to make a few, like a future football game. Um, and yes, here's the final bit um, going in for the tackle. And I think like the only thing we can actually tell from this, it's I mean it's too early to judge. I mean it's a trailer, and uh, it looks very like indie, very indie arcade game. That's why I mean I'll get onto it in a minute because there's so much waffle to say. I could sound like a knob right now, but I mean I hope it's not very like too realistic. The way it plays, it needs to be very different to FIFA, and I feel like making it too realistic like FIFA is right now would just slow it down. Uh, you know, like there's a lot of controversy. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, but yes, here is yeah free to play, fair to play coming soon. UFL fair play. I mean, I do like this like kind of like type and stuff. Pretty cool. But yes, that is the trailer from UFL. Um, they've also got hashtag United as a sponsor as well, which is very big. Strikers Inc. is a video game creating collective and an international gaming brand launched in 2016 by a handful of people involved with online football. Blah, 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 blah. Strikers Inc. is the force behind the UFL, the ongoing online football video game revolution. Being fans, we aim at offering our players an unpredicted gaming experience available on all major platforms. I had to, laugh, I had to quickly laugh at the unpredicted part there because again, that's something think uh, which i'm gonna get to which i'm gonna get onto in a minute which fifa doesn't do fifa is too predictable at times like gameplay wise anyway it's so predictable dda is a thing like it's it, it's a thing it's proven mate it's out there on like the internet I, there's too many examples to show you. but yeah like again this is one thing which which people which like football fans may not like which isn't in fifa and that's you know lads this is a free to play game my state like they have nothing to lose again lads 2016 like that kind of makes sense if i'm right in thinking that was the year where fifa 17 was dropped and don't get me wrong that i really enjoyed that fifa it was a great fifa the game Gameplay was kind of arcadey. It was nice. But that's when the competitive scene first dropped with the champions. That's where esports first came into FIFA. My theory, right, is that these Donnies saw what was going on and visualized FIFA being a very money grab it and I, I i'm wrong in saying that because i mean who doesn't want to make money like you know what i mean but the, it comes to a point where they're kind of taking the piss they probably saw like they visualized the overload of promos descripting gameplay and fifa 16 like don't get me wrong it was a very weak fifa like it was very uncared like even like the design element and stuff of it it was very very bland you know what i mean it was very lazy it, it was just overall very lazy fifa these lads just thought you know what i've had enough we're gonna go create our new game and compete <laughs> compete with fifa like the neutral perspective of fifa is basically it's the same every year i'm not buying it and if you do like buy it every year you can agree like i know when you do play it a lot you can tell like a difference loads but it is very similar like, if you actually zoom out and just think for a minute like it's so similar it's the same concept every year like you, you know you grind for your teams now and uh, obviously ultimate team plays a massive part like that's what's changed like the gameplay really from like the peak fifa 12 14 era by using state of the art services and technology stack we create a game that runs on the cutting edge of the tech we take our users their experience and dreams seriously so we get behind them no cooperative bollocks the game is made by fans and we wanted to set the bar and live up to the expectations Again, I'm getting the kind of uh, no meta vibe from this. These lads do not 
round. But yeah, I'm guessing from this, it's going to be very like fast, quick, arcadey, really agile. I mean, I think that's just the word to sum up everything about it. A game which hasn't dropped. Um, I'm just like, if they can bring back like the football gaming like roots of just like arcadey styles and i'm talking like around fifa 10 like if they bring back that style back and they can as well like we always talk about oh yeah like if ea are ever going to bring back this old style and like the the truth is they're not they're earning ridiculous money like, like it, it's proven and also like the competitive market with esports as well that's going to take a turn and like twitch deals and whatnot so i mean yeah it's it's all very competitive and obviously this links me back to my 2016 point this was when like the esports scene started and then their money and their like their network really boosted these lot have nothing to lose it's free to play may i say for about the fourth time now but yeah like i'm hopefully gonna smash it to be fair um it does look very like legitimate stuff like with all the sponsors it is just online they have stated on a tweet uh, i'll find on the screen now by the way i just i can't find them on my computer for some reason can manage to execute what fifa failed to do year in year out with the same titles ranging from their overload of promos which is a thing the free to play factor is massive um fifa 23 is supposedly like becoming free that's why i think they've dropped it now to be fair like they could have probably spent another year making it really sick and potentially overdoing it maybe like you never know but the fact that it's free to play and fifa as well moving on to my next point it's 60 pound for the standard edition on a normal xbox one if you are like a xbox one or ps4 player um the new mechanics to actually get to get your money's value of fifa with the new mechanics and like whatnot you actually have to upgrade to a newer console that probably plays a role in boosting this game's like exposure and stuff as well and again like the football game in audience this year has kind of took a turn obviously with like danny aaron's videos like hashtag harry's videos foot crunches videos i could go on like this kind of neutral chill feel to like playing the game non-competitive it's it's very good it, it's very different and like that's probably why these like creators have like changed the scene basically for the past like two years now like creators are literally just like share playing other people's rewards like opening these flashy cool car design packs it's what's i don't know it's kind of split like two fan bases the neutral old school version you like live for the gameplay and then you've got like the kind of bit get your flashy cards and stuff and spend points on you know whatever and then obviously it's probably a third one as well with like the competitive market kind of mixing in with both to make like this esports player i guess which generates ea more money so yeah it's it's very it's a uh, dog's dinner one more point as well like literally i i, I was sat there the other day and i was just thinking like honestly i actually i put a tweet on the screen now it was like a few days ago like before this game got announced i was saying about how free games have like impacted like the, the, like, the gaming market now and, like no game like fortnite like fortnite like changed like the gaming world i guess with like it's free to play nature and like that kind of going into it with so i download it and i'm not really much like a first person shooter or like third person shooter or whatever i'm going into that game with a mentality of i've got nothing to lose here it's a free to play game i just feel like it's going to be the same with this game as well like for every football fan if you think of warzone you think of like even fall guys for like a couple of months i know that was free on the ps4 fortnite was just like ridiculous apex legends was free like all these games which have blew up and then titles such as like cold war even fifa like that comes in that section where like they're still not even cross platform Form and they're still like full price it's kind of obvious that a game's not going to pop now if it's still full price it needs to be free to allow that mentality of going into a game with kind of nothing to lose vibe and i hate the word vibe by the way but um yes lads I, I, i'm sorry i've gone on it's 18 minutes since we've been recording um i'm excited for this game we are still a fifa youtuber I, i'll probably be back tomorrow with another pack opening um anyway lads uh, i'll leave it to it uh nothing more for let me know what you think of the new game in the comments i'll go ahead and edit this video now i'll leave it to it boys uh yeah take care boys in a bit never had a daddy's only 15